welcome back to the channel and today I am continuing my crash lander survival journey and I have an interesting thing to attempt to accomplish today in this episode regarding crafting chains and uh, just the ability to manage inventory so that we can just utilize all of the stuff we've gathered without having to meticulously remember which chest I put that one obscure object in. Um, and that is all thanks to a comment that I read on the last episode where I was asking for advice on how to set this up. So I got this comment from Jazvirgohupi4449 suggesting the possibility that I could keep all of my chests on my vehicle but have an output pipe cup that is hooked up to those chests that extends from my vehicle and I can kind of pull up to the crafting stations like a gas station and then just have them read what's in my uh, chest using the new like vacuum stuff vacuum decoupler apparently or a uh, vacuum socket pipe oh boy i'm dehydrated do i have milk i do have milk i'm running out of food well more mostly milk i think i have like i have a food shit there we go there's my food i'm not running out of food but i should be able to survive long enough to figure out what's going on Anyway, uh, so let's check out... Let's, let's see if I can find this stuff. So here we go. There's a vacuum pipe decoupler. Uh, you can disconnect parts. I don't think that's what we want. Um, vacuum extractor pipe. Vacuum socket pipe. Here we go. Can shoot items into and suck items out of this socket. This socket in itself is just a chest. Use a vacuum extractor pipe to transport items to and from this pipe. So vacuum extractor pipe extracts items from one side and makes them go into the other as indicated by arrows. All right, so I can already craft this thing. Okay, let's do it. And then we have this thing. Oh, I can already craft this thing too. Okay, let's do that. So do I need two of these or just this maybe? I really got to see how this works. So, well, they're crafting right now. All right, so I got both of them. So the theory is, let's just do a quick test here. Uh, what's in here? We got not important stuff. Chemicals. Yeah, let's take our chemical chest. I'm just gonna place, I can't place it on the back of my vehicle very well, can I? All right, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to delete my ladder because I need to make room for this. So let's just say that this is... This is going to be like an actual pipe and not a chest. I'm going to have like a, an exhaust pipe that is the exhaust of my materials. So then we have this. I don't really know how this quite works yet, but then we got this. So now let's say I'm going to I'm gonna take this. A uh, little bit laggy. So we need the input this way. Okay. I can't use it. What if I put it over here? I don't understand it yet. All right, I got some learning to do. Hold on. Can be toggled with logic. Makes them go to the other side. Extracts items from one side and makes them go to the other one. So maybe it has to be the other way around where this has to be attached to that one. And then this has to go here. Because I thought I could reverse the arrow like a normal vacuum pipe. But it appears not. So now, uh, logic. Do I have buttons and switches oh here's a button does that is this considered logic is a button considered logic if i just do that can i do that and then go like that okay well hold on i have literally no idea what i'm doing right now i'm just hoping that this has some uh, hope of working as intended okay so the idea is i want to be able to like back up to the station and then I guess turn this on and then have this read that I, is there anything that requires chemicals in here consumable does anything require chemicals wait why why does it say that i oh i have wolf eye on me personally here we go wait i do i have chemicals on me i do have chemicals on me no let's put the, all my chemicals in the chest all right so this doesn't appear to be working it does say logic so do i have any logic somewhere see this is why this is why this is why i need this Oh, they do have some logic. Here we go. All right. Well, all right. Let's do logic. Oh, no. The switch should probably still be there. Switch is going to hook into the logic. That hooks into that. Um, I don't get it. Do they have to be, like, perfectly aligned, maybe? All right. You can't really get too much better than that right there. All right. So, what required chemicals? Batteries. That's not reading it. Maybe there needs to be a chest 
as well. Wait, vacuum pump can shoot items into and suck items out. No, that's not what I want. So this actually just acts like a receipt, like an item receiver. I don't want an item receiver. I just want a chain connector. Extracts items from one side and makes them go to the other side. Can be toggled with logic. Maybe we can't do this. Maybe this is actually what I do want. So maybe rather than it being at like a gas station where I have to like just drive up and be near it, uh, maybe I weld my vehicle when I'm here. I just weld it to the system and that way it just stays, all, all my stuff stays attached to my vehicle so I can always carry it with me at all times which would be kind of nice. But then when I get to my base, I just weld it into the system and then I can just use the decoupler function to drive away. That might actually be what I'm looking for. So unfortunately, I do not have those parts. I need a vacuum pipe, which means I, oh, I need to, I need to attach this back to my crafting chain. Yeah, it seems like this is gonna be the way to go. All right, do I have the materials? There's no glass block in here. Oh, it's the output over here. All right, let me remove this. So yeah, I really need to get this in order because the crafting is the thing. That's the thing I'm trying to get it in order for. All right, there we go. Now we got all of our stuff in the system. Vacuum pipe. I need one of those. And then I also need a decoupler. I've never crafted one of those before. It should be somewhere in here. Interactive. Decoupler. Whoa. Welder arm component, base, piston base component. Welder arm component and piston base component. That thing, the vacuum pipe I can just put in there. All right, I need the metal station. Welder arm component. Wait, so if I, hold on, if I attach the input of this to the output of this one, does this actually, does this read all of my inventory? It does. All right, I need the welder arm component, so I need some of these. All right, this is kind of nice. Wait, I just crafted some screws, and they... Did they go into here? Wait, how did they go that way? It went... Okay, that was interesting. It went into my system. This is kind of nice. All right, so now I can craft a welder arm component, and then I need a piston base. Is this it? Piston base component? Okay. This is getting easy. Having all my chests linked up together like this is really nice. I hope I can do that in my truck. My truck is gonna have to maybe get read, like I'm gonna have to restructure things a little bit to create room for them to all be attached to each other nicely because they were not very nice and neatly attached to each other. Honestly, I should probably remove this because I'm not, I'm not creating batteries anymore. I need like a water system. Hmm, you could do something with that too. Yeah, modifications can definitely be made. All right, so all my stuff is getting deposited in my first chest, which is interesting because it's in the input of this. And actually, I don't think I want that on me. I need that in the system because what am I making? Ah, the decoupler. All right, there we go. Decoupler is being crafted and then we can finally make the vacuum pipe decoupler. Hmm. So now this is interesting. When the craft bot assembler finishes something, I end up personally con collecting it for some reason. That's weird. But when this one finishes, it goes into this chest. All right, there we go. Vacuum decoupler thing. So now let's see. My plan was, so let's say that I have a pipe coming out. We got that. So that should also have a button. There we go. That's pretty cool. So I'm assuming that this is on. So if I take my weld tool and weld you, uh, can I weld you? Like right there. All right, so now we're in the system, right? Look, can't drive or anything. And then let's hook up the button to the seat. And then if I wanna drive away after welding my vehicle into the system, I press number one. That should work, right? Theor theoretically, I think that's the system. Now, how cool would it be if it was like a magnetic welding? You just like drive up to a pipe and then boop, you get welded to it. That would, that would be the ideal thing. So I think this might be the closest thing to what that comment was saying. I, I really don't understand how I'm supposed, I think these are like to transfer individual items at a time from one place to another not to engage an entire chain of items at once. Now we've got the very difficult task of organizing these chests so that they are all connected to each other 
and sitting in my vehicle. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of this now because this has been absolutely useless and it's just taking up space. So I'm sorry, oh, my inventory is full already. Well, we got a bunch of chests over here now, don't we? All right, this isn't looking very promising because this is the amount of area that all of my current chests take up. And, um, oh, this one is actually, I got, this one's also part of it. There we go. This is the amount of area that my chests take up. And this is how big my truck is. So I think, uh, I think we're a little under-equipped to handle all this stuff. All right, let's just, let's just start experimenting. So, like, this can definitely go, like, right there. And then we got that attachment point. We need to do kind of like a zigzag thing, right? Actually, let me see. How does this line up? If I do that, I don't think I can have a chest go there. So I will move this one in that, and then I can put that one like that. And now we can have a chest go there pretty easily. Okay, so now we can have this chest hook up right there. Now the problem with this, what I'm doing right now, is I will not be able to put my refinery system in here, which will be rather unfortunate uh, if I ever want to do like a big mining trip again. I'll have to figure out an alternate system for having my refine bot and then two resource collectors. All right, so is this symmetrical in a way that they'll actually link up? If I do this, it looks like I'll be able to fit a chest there. This is actually starting to come together. All right, look at that. So then, hmm, that is not coming together. Oh, you know why these are down, those are up. I should reverse these. There we go. And then you attach like that. All right, perfect. But now these will not attach to each other because if I have a if I have one in the middle, hmm, I'm going to have to delete this. We're going to have to make a little bit of an extension back here. I mean, like oh, we have somewhat of a system, don't we? You do that. I might just be able to hook them all up with one pipe in the back. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to have like a T right here. Yeah, then these two sides will be linked to each other. And then I can attach in here and continue that way. Or I could have elbow, elbow. That might work better. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I'm visualizing it. It's coming together. Okay, I need two elbows. More glass block. No, no, my stuff is over there because I'm in the process of doing this. I don't know where anything is. Where's my glass block? Here we go. Glass block. Wait, what else do I need? I should have paid attention to everything. Circuit boards. So I have two elbows and then I'm going to have, and then I'm going to have a T. Glass, circuit boards, metal two. All right, two elbows, one T. This is going to be so cool if this works. It should work. I might need one more elbow, but let me just see how this is feeling first. So we go like that, we go like that, and then, oh, I'm so glad the T fits perfectly. We go like that. Like, do I want the T to go, like, what I'm wondering is, do I want the T to go down and then have an elbow out, and then that is the, um, the coupler? Or I could just have the coupler right there, and then our vehicle just gets welded. That's not, is that the coupler? Yeah, that is the coupler. Our vehicle will just get welded uh, a little bit up. It'll have to be like an elevated weld point, right? Like, actually, is this... Is this an adequate weld point right here? I think that it. No, I'll be in the ground. That won't work. But I could just have an elevated weld point. This this does look pretty elegant. Mm, but yeah, I just... For some reason, it just feels like... Aesthetically, it feels like it should be lower. Functionally, it's really not going to make a difference. But I kind of... Do I have the material for it right now? Just one more elbow. Barely. I'm, uh, I'm almost out of circuit boards. I'm actually kind of eating eating into my metal block too as well. So, all right. So then this goes right there. Mm, that may have been a mistake. Because now it's like, it's going to probably get caught up, caught up when I'm driving around. You think that's going to get caught up while I drive around? Especially if I'm backing up. I think, I think that was a mistake. That is probably just going to be really annoying and get caught up. It looks good. But... That would only be better if it was like deployable like that. I think it's just better to have the uh, the T intersection. All right, we're going with that. So now the rest of my chests. So these two sides are linked together, which means anything I attach to any of the chests now will be part of the chain. All right, there's that. This is looking good. I think we're gonna have the room for this. Attach that one. Okay, 
Uh, we're, we're running out of room, actually, now. We have two more chests for every chest that I've used so far. This is just the stuff that I'm carrying on me, to be honest. Like, I could then have whatever my destination chain is with all my crafting stuff. I could have an unlimited number of chests that then I hook into. But it's like, how many chests do I want on me? Is the question I'm trying to ask here. So here, let me put this, uh, let me just put this down for now. I think I can make some sacrifices here. Oh, I can put one right in the middle there. All right, right. Oh, can I not? Oh, I can if I do that, but I need two more. Why does that not fit? Is it my seat? I think it's my seat. Hmm. What if I do this? Wait, what's not fitting on this one? I think it's these two blocks. Ah, ah, what did I do? No, 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 no. <laughs> I almost broke everything. All right, that's fine. We don't need those two blocks there. All right, now let's see if this fits. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. And then I delete these two blocks. Yeah, and then the last chest. We had just enough room to fit every single chest. Too bad these chests are like completely, completely disorganized. Here, I should put it over here. There we go. Look at that. I believe now... These are all connected. Look at this. This is my storage. I have storing all the things. Yeah, I mean, I on it. Like, I really should have reorganized this while I did this, but I'll get used to it. Okay, so now where do I put all of my craft? So I think what I can do now is I have all of these crafting stations. Now, it, with, if they're all linked together, then I think they can all feed with each other through wherever I'm connected to. So we just need to link all of these things together on like a, a elevated base that I can then weld this to the end of one of these pretty much. And then I will have everything. Yeah. Yeah, this is actually, this is happening. All right, so here is my gas station. Should I have it near the gas station or should I have it near... The antenna. Oh, I'm very torn right now. Actually, experiment really quick. This is my refinery. Maybe I can just slap it on top when I need it. Like, this will be, this is gonna be such a heavy vehicle, but what's wrong with this? There's room. I could use this. Look at that. That's not bad at all. And then I have like extra chests on me. I could just attach it there. That works. And then I could just slap my resource rods down just like I did before. Okay. This, de this has not eliminated my functionality on mining trips. So I'm feeling really good about this, actually. I cannot believe how perfectly everything has fit here. This is awesome. I technically could have kept my alternator here. I just don't know how to use it yet right now with the water thing. All right, let me just put it down real quick. See if it still says it needs water. It still says it needs water. I, I, I think you need a water chest for that. You need to hook up the water chest to it. But 20 water per battery? I don't know about that. All right, wherever my crafting chain is, I need to be able to easily see and access, uh, and access each individual station, even though they're gonna be like right next to each other. So I need to make sure that they are visible. Wait, this is the input of this one? And this is the output. The output, that's inconvenient. I want them to be in a line. Okay, so there is, what well, is like the, the metal manufacturer. That's an important one. All right, and then we attach chemistry station. I just want to see if I can actually attach them all. So metal, chemistry, uh, work bench. This is smeltery, also important. But see, this the smeltery is the annoying one. The smeltery has, the, they're not an in inline uh, input and output. So with the smeltery, hold on, what's the other one? There's this one too. Okay, these are in line. There we go. And then, like this. Actually, this could work. Because then look, we have an elevated attachment point right there. I'm going thirsty again. Am I? Do I even have any more left? I have two left. I need to go do a corn and cow run. All right, so then we have our weld. And we just weld to the back of the smeltery. So we would have to put our input to the back, and that looks like it's actually kind of like a line. But now let's test, does this actually work? Do I have access to all of my materials? Let's just click on some random stuff. Look at that, we got glue, we've got cotton, we've got wolf hides, we got concrete block, we got ember, 
We've got water, we've got chemicals, we've got scrap stone, we've got circuit boards, even buttons in there that I wasn't even completely sure about. We got a saddle platform component. We got a whole bunch of batteries. We have a complete and attachable crafting chain that I can then... I I don't have the detach button right now. Hold on. Let's put that right next to our suspension mug. Hook that into that. Hook that into the seat. But yeah, we can then go ahead and hop in and detach ourselves and drive away. All right. This chain works. Let me also just confirm that it works with all the things. Oh, I probably have to turn it back on, don't I? Hey, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Where'd it go? Oh, it's there. Oh, oh, I attached it the wrong way. Wait, do I want it there? Or should I do that? Or should I do this one? All right, I kind of like, that looks cooler. I like it on my vehicle. All right, that scared me. I thought I lost it. All right, smeltery. Look at this. Look at all of our smelting materials. Perfect. Uh, wood working bench. Look at that. Plenty of wood accessible. Chemistry bench. Look at all the pigment flowers. I got chemicals, like a metal block. Metal manufacturer, of course, is also fine. You know, I kind of want to move the metal manufacturer next to the smeltery. Yeah, I think I should go... Well, smeltery has to be the first in line or on the end because that's my attachment point. I should go smeltery, metal manufacturer. And then I feel like the next most useful is the refine, the assembler. Smeltery, metal manufacturer, assembler, chemistry, and then we end on the uh, carpenter bot because that's the one I use the least. All right, I got, I got a system figured out. All right, let's um detach this. Let's move these things around. So this is gonna go on the end. This is gonna go second. All right, smeltery, metal manufacturer, assembler, chemistry station, carpenter bot. So here's another thing. What we also should do, we should have an output chest over here. And what would be ideal is to then build a loop of vacuum pipes that loop back into here so that way we have a looping chain so then if we have a system we'll have a system that if i need something from the refine from the assembler but that requires me to craft something from here we want to make sure that it goes the outputs also go back into the loop so that then whatever output this makes isn't like i don't know what happened last time but sometimes they get stuck where you have to take them out of here it goes into your personal inventory we want it to go back into the chain so i do have some chests here so i can just put like an output chest like this we could attach a pipe there and that goes all the way back to there that's going to be a lot of potential maneuvering so let's go ahead and decouple this I think I'm gonna need to make more circuit. No, let's not. I need a lot more circuit boards. So I'm gonna need another T intersection. I'm now that loop, that uh, elbow that I have, glad I made it. It's gonna come in handy now. Where is it actually? Is it on me? It is on me. All right, so this is too early in the system. We don't want to do the elbow yet. We need a normal one. I can make one right now. So what's gonna happen with this? It should just stay here, right? Or is it gonna go to the output chest? Let's find out. And it's gone. And it's in the output chest. Okay, good. So we need this. I need to really figure out how, like, what is the dimensions that I'm connecting to here? So if I do that, I need to do like a test to make sure that lines up. All right, so if I go up, yeah, that looks like it's gonna line up. Actually, maybe not. I need to figure out where the T goes. Okay, hold on, I need to disconnect this. No connections. Oh, because it disconnected itself because I had it the wrong way. That's why we want this to stay here. Yeah. So disconnect. All right. Actually, I need another T1, but now I don't have my inventory connected. I'm going to need a lot more circuit boards. You know what? <laughs> I got to connect myself back up again. Oh, it's not on. That's why. You know what? This should be a button, not a switch. Let me uh, redo that. Where's my buttons at? I don't want it to be toggled on and off. I just want to press it to just decouple real quick and then have it ready for coupling again. Because apparently you can't weld it uh, when it's in the off position. But hold on. I actually need to turn it back on because it's in the off position. So there we go. Are you toggled on now? Wait, why can't I weld you right now? Oh, it just needs to be attached to something. Oh, okay. See... Oh, we're good now. We're good now. But I still need these. I still need this button to see if it works better. Now I've I've changed up all of my locations of everything, so now nothing is organized anymore. 
I mean, it never was, but now I don't even know my own disorganization. Okay, so now when I press it, it goes off, and when I release, it goes back on. That's much better than um, than having the toggle. I like that better. Okay, let's get this back on here because I need to start crafting some circuit boards. All right, circuit boards, craft. I'm just going to craft this many. I don't want it to go infinitely because I don't want it to just eat through this metal block um, without me keeping an eye on it, on it. You should be able to... It'd be cool if you could just type in a value. Like, I need 30 of these. And it'll just repeat until it reaches that number. That'd be pretty cool. All right, so now that those are crafting and they're in the output, my question is, does this stuff already... Actually, if this already gets detected, then my whole thing that I'm crafting these for is a moot point. Let's see. Look at this. 14. So I don't need to. I don't need to create a loop because this is already detectable. Even though it's on the output, it's a little counterintuitive, but everything that gets output into here, it gets detected by everything else. So I don't need to craft the stuff anymore. Now I just need to place this somewhere and we're good. The only thing that I have to do manually, which I know there would probably be a way that I don't understand, actually maybe not with this mobile system, but with all the other vacuum pipes that we have, we have like filter pipes and all this stuff. You could probably create a system that filters out your outputs into designated chests so it becomes organized. What I have to do, because I'm gonna have a separate uh, detachable organization, is I'll have to grab the things and then put them into the appropriate chests for traveling with. So I have them with me if I need them uh, out and about. All right, but I think uh, this thing is good to go. I can detach myself. And then if I needed to, I could quickly reattach myself just like that all right that's all just just confirming everything works as intended so now where do i put this i'm like i'm a, i keep looking over at the gas station because i have this built here so i was like i might as well i got it i got it i got it i got it i have more wood here so if i have my smelting this is actually really long this probably isn't gonna work as intended maybe so if i have that right there essentially what i'm thinking is i drive up I go boop to get gas, and then if I walk to the back of my vehicle, my connector pipe's gonna be right here. I just go boop, boop, I'm in the system. I walk around here, I build a, like a nice little walkway right here, and then I can access everything there. And then at the end of my walkway, I can then manage um, the gasoline. And you know what? I could potentially, I could hook this up to this. I could flip that chest over, create uh, a vacuum tube coming to here as well. And we have everything in the system, even my oil. Hmm? Hmm? All right, let me see where, what height I need this to be at so I can weld it without it getting stuck in the ground. Does that look like it's gonna work? No, that's not gonna work. So it needs to be like right there. So let me build up. So it needs to sit on top of that. All right, let me just confirm that that weld point is functional. Oh, that's not how I want it to go. All right, well, we weld. And then disconnect. Everything looks good. We can drive away without being stuck in the ground. All right, so now that I have that attachment point right there, now I can create a bit of a crafting platform here. Probably going to run out of this real soon. I need to get the rest of my wood. I'm probably going to have to do my uh, tread my tread wood method of saving material. All right, uh, looks like I've got it. And let me actually give myself a little bit of a handrail here, just so I don't end up falling off this as I like inevitably try to like back up and get a, a get a view and stuff. You know, I have a decent amount more. I'm gonna extend it a little bit over the water, kind of like this. All right, so then you can see here, I can start extending out a pipe over to that chest. I'll have to have like one more elbow in there. And I'm gonna have to turn that chest this way. Ooh, how do we do? Yeah, that should be fine. I'll have to turn, my ch turn the chest this way and I'll have to have like another elbow or something come out of it. But now, look what we got here. This is pretty good. And actually, let's do a quick uh, demonstration of my intended use of how this could be functionally like as a gas station and then a craft station. So I come in, I get my gas, boop, that should be a refill. I go back here and then look at this, right there to right there. And now we are locked in the crafting chain, ready to craft 
And then I just got to make the oil be part of it as well. All right, um, let me reorganize. I need another elbow. Do I have the materials for it? Yes, I do. I got plenty of materials now. So this might be all, maybe two elbows. I think I need two elbows. Let's make two more elbows. All right, and then while those are crafting, I need to redo this. Because this chest, oh no, I need to, oh, I need to get up out of the water. I can't like, I can't place the chest that has stuff in it when I'm swimming. All right, is that aligned? Like, are we already at, we're just like naturally at the right height. That's a, an amazing coincidence. So now, oh, the elbow should be here, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna put one elbow on this side. And then these are pretty much gonna do the same thing they were already doing, going back down into here. That goes that way. And then this logic gate hooks into that one, so it's always on. Then this elbow is gonna go right here. Oh, I need another elbow. Oh, that doesn't line up. Hmm. What do I do about that? I think I need to make room here. So this needs to be the right uh, distance. That looks better. So I didn't need this extra elbow. Dang it, I made an extra thing. But now I need probably two or three of the straight vacuum pipes. Let's start with two. I'm also making myself another one of these vacuum pumps because I used mine in the materials to make one of these things. Which one was it? Ah, yes, this. The vacuum extractor pipe, which I no longer need. But if I want to have um, my water collection and things like that, if I want to go down to the water, I need another one of those things. All right, here we go. Two more straight ones. So let's just start over here. There we go. I am going to need one more. I'm already using my crafting chain. This is awesome. I'm using my crafting chain to help expand my crafting chain. Everything's already in here. This is great. And what I love about it is like it's mobile. Like not the crafting chain, but like my storage that attaches to the crafting chain is mobile storage. So I can have that stuff with me as I'm out collecting things. It's great. All right. And then look at the... Oh, no. Oh, no. Stop it. No, it's gonna fill up my whole crafting chain. Oh no. Oh, that doesn't work. How do I get it to not do that? No, I said stop it. Stop it. Oh my goodness. Where did it go? Where did all of that go? Genuinely, where did all of that go? <laughs> it's not in that. Where's all the oil? Where's the oil? It had to have gone somewhere. I saw it all going. Where's the oil? Here it is. It went into this chest? Of all the chests that it could have gone in, it went into this one? Why did it choose this one? This is the one with like my main things in it. Mm, I only, I wanted the oil to be an accessible part of the crafting chain, but I only wanted it to go that direction. I don't know if that's something I can do. Let me look at some of the options again. This is like almost what I'm looking for, but it's it doesn't really seem like it'll do exactly. I, I have like such a specific circumstance. So this adds filters to all containers on its output side. Best used for making organized storage, can be toggled with logic. And this also means that you can only put allowed items inside any container filled by this pipe. I wanna do the opposite of that, where I want to, uh, it's not even that. It's I, I just don't want items transferring out of a of a certain chest. I don't know if this is something I can do. Yeah, that right now this is just going. This is going to be bad. This is just going to fill up everything. All right, let's put this back on. Um. All right. Well, I'll just put these in my inventory. I guess. I mean, it's really not a huge deal. If I need oil for whatever ingredients, I can just go ahead and slap them over here. But um, I just wanted everything to be like kind of just self self organizing, you know. Oh, I'm so lost now. My battery chest used to be this one over here. I used to know where everything was. My seed, ch my food chest used to be up there. I don't know where my food chest is anymore. All right, I think I'm doing okay organization wise now. Starting to learn where things are. Oh no, I'm thirsty again. <gasps> Oh, uh, where's my food chest? Food, 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 food. Where's my food? My food is in there. Where's my food? There's my food. What is going to be good food? Probably, wait, what is, hold on. Forest berries? I thought those were blueberries this whole time. There's two different types of berries. I didn't know that forest berries were different than blueberries. Oh, forest berries are terrible. They're like actually really terrible. Like look at what a blueberry does in comparison. Oh, look at that. Blueberry is good. I was gonna, I was gonna use this. All right, so now, at least when it comes to finishing the, 
Oh my goodness, that thing scared me. I thought it was like a wolf jumping up on me. But anyway, now, uh, as far as building the antenna goes, now we have a whole crafting chain where whatever I've gathered, it's part of it. So we're going to be good when it comes to that. But I definitely need to do a cow. I need to, I need some, I need some thirst, some drink. So let's head out. Look at this thing. This thing's awesome. I feel like I'm, I got so, or I, I'm very, it's a, the most disorganized system as far as what's in what chest, but it looks very organized. It looks good. I'm pretty proud of it, actually. Why do I have my buttons? I did all this organization, and I managed to just not put the buttons in a chest or this bearing. Wait, why do I have a, a beat on me? When did I get a beat? I'm so confused right now. All right, anyway. Oh, I need my sickle. So at least I know that this very central chest here is like my important parts chest. Hey, there's a cow. It's, oh, it's running away from the wolf. Dang it. These wolves get in the way all the time. Hey, no, 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 no. You do not. You do not destroy. I've worked so hard on this vehicle right now. All right, don't worry. I'll, uh... I'll actually, I can, I'll collect their pelts now. I got all this storage. All right, and I can now use the sickle on this. Look at that. And I'm already on my way to sustaining myself, satisfying myself, sustenancing myself, satiating myself. I was like, there's an S word that means what I want it to mean. All right, only two milk from that, huh? All right, I know there's more corn right around here. There we go. Six corn, three corn. Yeah, this is cool. The, um... The sickle does really good. Three, three. Okay, I liked it better when it was six. Come on, can we get another six? Three, six, there we go. Oh, two sixes in a row. Nice, all right, now we're gonna get a bunch of milk from this cow. Look at that, how much milk is this? We're going from two, oh, to 10. We just got eight milk from one cow, just like that. Oh, there's, there's corn right here. All right, let's see. Three, three, three. Disappointed. Six, three. Three. Dang it. Feels like I'm in a game show trying to win the big bucks. <laughs> I'm sorry, cow. I was gonna feed you, but you ran into me instead. Oh, look at him sneaking. Look at him playing the sneaky. You see that? He snuck up. He actually snuck up on the cow. All right, we'll let them play. Well, uh, oh, I get this corn over here and then feed this cow. Three, three, three. Mm. I have exactly 30. All right, where'd that cow go? Here we go. So here's my, uh... Thought it was going to attack me for a second. Here's my method for uh, feeding the cows. I'll give one. And then I'll wait for him to eat it as I give him more. Once he finishes eating, give him another one. And I just keep clicking on him. So it's kind of like a bit of a team effort here. Oh, yeah. It looks like he can use another one. All right. And I'll just wrap up the rest manually. There we go. And then we got another seven. Just like that. Oh, look. Looks like, um... Maybe they're together. I mean, they are right now. More together than most physical things. Once you start occupying the same space at the same time, I think you can say you're together. All right, I think I got enough milk. Yeah, I've got uh, 15, 16, 17 milk. That should last me until the end of the game, pretty much. All right, so now that I have a whole crafting system set up, uh, let's do the next tier, the next stage of building and see if I even have, do I even have what I need to build what I need for the next tier? So look at this, it's instantly, boom, there's some more gas. I will like, I automatically get gas just by uh, parking myself in an ideal position to attach to the crafting chain. All right, so what do I need next for the next level of the satellite? Oh, I have this crafting bench. I should just take this with me so I can uh, potentially craft things on the go. Cause I have a whole, I have all my stuff with me when I'm on the go too. So, oh yeah, I need, one, two, three, four, five, six more of those things. All right, let's do six more of the corner pieces. That should be the metal working station, right? Here it is. Oh, look at that. So I need six more. So two, four, six. And we got 75 polished metal block somewhere in my vehicle. And what's cool about this is no matter what crafting station I use now, they're all going to output to the same spot. So it's actually like going to be really easy to craft multiple things from multiple stations if I need to. All right. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and there we go. That was actually really easy. Okay. So now we need a bunch of, oh, a bunch of very specific things for this next one. Super specific. Oh, we need like a three by one wedge as well. All right, we need a control panel. The control panel, does that go on top of... Oh, it's interesting. Okay, this is most a little bit of polished metal and some of the other kind of metal. See, now I don't know where that stuff is. Here's my polished metal. 
There's the stud metal. I need a little bit more stud metal. And I think what's kind of also cool, it seems like, oh, I'm going to prove it right now, that even if I don't have it in the crafting chain, if I have it on my person, that gets combined with what is in the inventory, the, the chests. So for polish, for the studded metal block, yeah, see, I got 75, that's on me. And these screws are not on me, but I'm just gonna go ahead and create another batch of these. So yeah, whatever I have, it's literally everything. I don't even gotta put it in my inventory in order to um, have it be included with the rest of my inventory, which is kind of epic. All right, 10 of those, good. Wait, what does it take to make the cable things? I'm assuming it's here. Parts. We need polished metal and plastic block. I have a little bit of that. One of those. I know that I do need uh, these pipes. I'll make two stacks of those as well, and I'll come back and get those in a second. That's polished metal. Okay. That's polished metal. What is this? That must be the studs. Okay, yeah, that is studs. What about this one? Uh, it's kind of hard to read this. That looks good, I think. That looks good. There. Yeah, this is actually really difficult to read. There's like another one like here. Yeah, there. There we go. Now all the polished metal is gone and then we just have the studs. Yeah, this one's kind of hard to, um, kind of hard to follow along with. There's a lot of just stuff in the way. All right. See, we need, I think I crafted two. It looks like we need three of those. Oh, wait, there's a lot. I don't know. This is this is really hard. There's my eyes are just like there's so many things interfering. I'm trying to absorb everything at once. I really need to just take it one ingredient at a time. So it looks like I need one, two, three, four more of the brackets of the uh, corner pieces. Let's just do that for now. Four more of the corner pieces. One, and then two of the three by one wedges. Four corner pieces, two three by one wedges. All right, three by one wedges. I craft a batch of two. Four corner metal pieces. One, two. There we go. All right. Actually, well, now that I'm looking at it, is this the last stage? I don't think I want to. I don't think I want to finish this yet. Yeah, there's actually a lot of things I need to craft. Like that thing. I don't know how I'm going to do it. The control panel. I don't know what the ingredients are yet. But let's just finish this batch of things that I created here. Got one corner, two, three, four. There's the corner pieces all done. And then please tell me I made the right wedges. Oh, I needed three? Three wedges? And they come in batches of two? You're really gonna do that to me? You're gonna give me three wedges when you create them in batches of two. All right, and then we gotta work down there, which I don't like, because there's not actually like an official way out. Like even, like, I saw I saw what you did there, uh, editor. I saw you put enter here, but as you can see, this is not really an entrance, even without the thing there. Can't go in. Like, I'm actually stuck down here. There's no official... There's no way out. I can't get out of here without a toilet. That's why you always carry a toilet. I guess I could use my lift. I guess I could use my lift like a real mechanic. But yeah, this is not... This is not an entrance. All right, I do have some pipe pieces, though. I do have pipe pieces. Where do the... Oh, I can't. I can do that one. I need a control box. I can't actually do the cables that I- oh wait, I can. I can do the cables down here. Because I have this one set of cables, but they need, it needs to be attached directly to something. There we go, that looks good. It looks like we're getting really, really close to being able to finish this. We have a whole crafting system set up, and I love that it is removable. We have a removable storage chain that just works, and I love that. Because I just like having everything on me, okay? But uh, if there's anything else you want me to try to accomplish or try out that you think is worth it before we finish up this antenna, let me know because it's kind of like your last chance now. I've now gotten a little bit of taste of how crafting chains uh, are in this game, but obviously it could get way, way, way more complicated, but it's a little bit unnecessary. I, I like this system. I'm happy with what I got. So I'll be reading those comments. If you guys enjoyed this episode, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.